Hello students. In this video, I am going to teach you how to draw an involute curve. Draw an involute of a circle of diameter 50 mm. Also draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve. This is the given question. How to measure a radius of 25 mm in our compass. Okay. Yes, you see here, I have taken my scale and I measured 25 mm in my compass now. So now I am going to draw my circle with the help of this compass. Yes. So I have drawn my circle for the radius of 25 millimeters now. So the next step is to divide the circle into n number of divisions. So my preference is go to go with 12 divisions of a circle. Okay. Now I so divided the circle into 12 equal parts. Let me name the divisions of my circle here. Okay. Let okay. me take the base point here as capital A. Okay. Similarly, I will give this name from beginning from here. It is number 1, it is number 2 and this is number 3, this is number 4. It goes on 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12th point is A point. Okay. So, totally it is 12 divisions. The next step is to draw a line perpendicular to this 6A line. 6A line beginning from A point. Okay. Which means I am going to unwind my or I am going to start my involute from with reference of this A point. So, I am taking this A point. You can take any point here. Okay. So, I am going to draw a line from this A point. Okay. So, I will take so now I have taken my scale and I placed my scale at the point of A. What should be the length of it? That means the string length is not given in the problem. We need to calculate it. That is, it is simplest formula. It is an circumference of the of circle. That is the length of the line we need to draw here. Okay, as you know, the circumference formula is pi into d r 2 pi r. So it is pi into diameter is 50 millimeter. So it becomes 157 millimeters after calculating this we need to draw the line from this point okay so i have drawn the line a b for a length of 157 millimeters now we need to divide the length of this a b line into 12 equal parts why it is 12 because we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts so whatever the number we have taken to divide the circle we need to take the same numbers to divide the line of a b here so we have taken 12 divisions in the circle so i'm going to go with 12 divisions of this a b line here okay so it is of 157 millimeters. So dividing this line into 12 equal parts is by measuring the length or by taking of segments is complicated. So we will go with an line division method. Okay. So I will proceed with this line division method. As you see here, I have divided this length of line AB into 12 equal parts. Okay. This is one of the easiest method to divide the uneven length of the line into equal number of divisions. Right. So let us name this line of AB. Similarly, as like the as we have named the circle. Okay, let us take this first division. It's going to be one dash. Second division is two dash. Third is three dash. Similarly, it goes on. Okay. Is on twelfth division is B. Okay. So almost our problem is over. The major steps have completed. So the the next step is we need to draw perpendicular lines or ninety degree lines to in the every divisions of the circle. See, I'll show you. Yes, first I am going to draw for the first division. So, I am just placing my protector perpendicular to this yes. 7, 1 line. So, I need to draw a line from 7, 1 line for the line of 7, 1 I have drawn for an, any arbitrary length. Similarly, I am going to draw for 2, 8 line. Okay, so I am placing my scale perpendicular to this 2, 8 line. I am going to draw a line for an arbitrary distance. Yes, like this I am going to draw a line like this. Yes, I have for an, any arbitrary distance. Yes. Similarly, I am going to draw for all other points. Now I have drawn perpendicular lines for every point like this. Okay. Next step is to draw an involute curve with the help of compass. Okay. So take your compass and measure a distance of B, B to A. Okay. This distance is going to be your first distance in your compass. And place your compass on this A point like this and draw an arc from this b to the first line from b to this first line this is your first arc similarly you have to take the radius of dash. that is b to this one dash you have to take a radius and i am taking a radius for till one dash right so i have to have to draw arc from this one line okay so i have to continue this arc from one so my curve will come like this yes it will come like this so next what i need to do i will go for the next causes though my compass is not expanding to that extent so i will show you the drawing of a curve for a point of 6 here as you see here I have taken b to 6 as a radius 
have taken radius for the point of 6 so i am taking my compass to the point of 6 here yes i am placing my compass with center as 6th point and drawing an arc like this yes so this is how you need to draw for everything i will tell you for the 7th point so i am measuring a distance for yes, b to 7 dash as a radius so i have taken radius up to 7th point right so i have to take my compass to this 7th point okay considering 7th point as my center point and drawing an arc like this on this point okay yes yes finally your curve will look like this after joining all the intersection points you finally will get a curve like this right now i will tell you the procedure to draw the tangent and normal yes it is quite easy this condition is considering any point on this curve so i am considering a point on this curve let me take this point as p now we need to join this p point and this center point of this circle first yes and after this we need to find out the or midpoint of this p and center line after finding out the center point of this p o line that is midpoint of this line we need to draw a semicircle in the outside of your involute curve like this way okay this curve will intersect your circle at a certain point so let us name that point here as as yes okay now join this s point and p point and draw a perpendicular line to that line like this we need to draw a perpendicular line to the drawn line this line is called as tangent t t dash and this line is called as normal n n dash thank you